Hello, my beautiful loves, all 10,000 of you. That That's right, guys. <laughs> I never thought I would say this, but we hit 10,000 subs. How crazy is that? Like, I... I can't even believe it. Our family is getting so big and I am beyond happy, guys. There's no words to describe what I'm feeling right now. It's so hard for me to grasp. It's so crazy. But I want to thank all of you guys so freaking much for supporting me. All my old subs, thank you for sticking with me. All my new subs, thank you so much for joining the family. I am so happy to have you. I appreciate all of you guys so much and I love you. Your support really means the world to me, okay? So today I will be doing the very requested Q&A video for you guys. So you can hopefully get to know me a little bit better. And if you're wondering what the video is about, it is me giving my sim self a CC makeover. So yes, this is my sim self. <laughs> and uh, for the q and I'm gonna start with the personal questions first, then answer some tech questions, and finally some sims related questions. And I got so many questions, guys. Thank you so much. I can't answer all of them, but I will do more Q&As in the future, I promise. And I have all of your questions print screened and saved. So let's start, you guys. The first question is from Mariah Hansen, and she asks, what is my real name? And uh, my real name is Natalie. Yes. <laughs> Uh, next question is from Pauline Manzeville and she wants to know when my birthday is and it is the 2nd of November. So shout out to all my Scorpios out there. Uh, although I was actually born around like one and a half month too early. Kathleen Taylor asks how old I am. I am 26. No, 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 no. I am 25. Uh huh. I'm, I'm still 25. I'm turning 26 this year, but I am still 25. That's uh, that's important, guys. That's important, okay? Um, uh, Miranda Sullivan asks Are you dating someone or married? And I'm not married, but I am engaged. And in August, guys, in August, we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary. 10 years like what <laughs> time really flies by so quickly um carly nelson asks asks <laughs> if i have any kids and no i do not have any kids um then so many of you guys like so many <laughs> asked what made me start youtube and if youtube is my job and no it's not my job uh, i am a university student and I study pharmaceutical sciences and I will soon be a pharmacist. Uh, but I do, I would love to have YouTube as my full-time job. But <laughs> if I, I, I don't have that option at the moment, okay. Uh, but if I did, uh, yes, I would love to do YouTube as my full-time job. And uh, what made me start YouTube? Well, I, I was bored, okay. I was super bored and I was looking for that new hobby, you know. I really wanted something to feel passionate about something to enjoy and i had actually been thinking of starting a youtube for years and years like seriously years but i never got around to do it and then one day you know i just finally decided to try it just try it i had been thinking about it for so long and i got to that point where i just thought to myself like just freaking do it just freaking do it and um uh, it did and I, I don't regret anything. Like, it is seriously one of the best decisions I've ever made. Like, <laughs> it, it really is. And when I started, I never thought I would get even one sub. Like, I'm not kidding. I did not think I would even get one subscriber. I was just doing it for fun. I, I didn't care if no one would watch it. But here I am <laughs> with 10,000 subs. Like... I I am so freaking happy like I've met so many wonderful people so again it's seriously one of the best things I've ever done um Emma Cherico asks if I will ever do a face reveal and yes girl I will <laughs> eventually okay I I really want to 
but I just don't feel like completely ready to do it just yet. Uh, but I will in the future. I'll definitely do it in the future. <laughs> I don't even have like a camera uh, to film it. Maybe if you guys would <laughs> be okay with just a picture. I don't know, but like I, I will do it in some way in the future. Because uh, if, if, if I'm doing a video, like then I want a better camera than my phone camera. But if it's just a picture then I could do it with my with, do it with my phone but it, we'll see guys we'll see okay <laughs> it's a question for the future but I guess I will show my face I just don't don't know like exactly when that's gonna be um Jinx asks if I ever if I'll ever do a live stream and yes, I really want to do that as well. Only problem is my upload speed is kind of bad. My download speed is great, but my upload speed is kind of... I mean, it's decent, but it's not great. So that's an issue for live streaming. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I could live stream from my fiance's house though. Uh, no, we don't live together. <laughs> he has better internet than me. So I could live stream from his place, but then I would have to move my computer and stuff. So uh, yes, I will probably most likely live stream, uh, but when I, I don't know. And uh, Noah Vandertorn, I'm sorry if I'm betraying your last name, Noah, but Noah asks if um, I have any pets and if I can show them. And I do have pets. I have two. I have two beautiful female corn snakes. And uh, I'm sure you didn't expect that. <laughs> but yes, I do have two snakes and I would love to show them. But I know there's a lot of people with snake phobia it's a very common phobia and i don't want to cause someone a panic attack or anything so i don't really know how to show them uh, without possibly inflicting anxiety upon people so we'll we'll see how i'll sort that out if you want to see my snakes um annie bell asks if, <laughs> if i could only eat one food for the rest of my life what would that be uh and uh don't laugh guys don't laugh but potatoes yes potatoes <laughs> for sure like i love potatoes you can do anything with potatoes there are so many different dishes with potatoes and yes obviously fries are my favorite potato but <laughs> yeah my let's just say my life is potato okay <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Annabelle Swan Colin Black asks if I play any other games and yes I do. Um not so, not so much at the moment because I don't have that much free time. I'm very busy at the moment, but I do play a ton of other games. Uh the games I play the most are mo are like World of Warcraft and Heroes of the Storm. Um in the Kitty or King Kitty asks what I most desire in life and uh, <laughs> this is a tough question. I just want to be able to look back at my life and be happy with it and not regret it. Like not regret not doing things I wanted to do. So it's a very deep question and the simple answer I suppose is just happiness and love. And I also want to see the world and just learn as much as possible. <laughs> uh, Next question is from Sirsa Siza. I'm so sorry, honey. Your name is absolutely beautiful, but I have no clue how to pronounce it. Is I'm so sorry if I butchered it, and I'm so sorry if you can hear my neighbors. Uh, but she asks, what was the best festival or concert I've been to? And I would have to say Q Dance, their 10 year anniversary rave in Amsterdam. So um, that is electronic music for those of you that don't know, uh, but that was an amazing party guys. I got to visit the Netherlands at the same time, so it was it was perfect. Um, on to the tech questions guys, time to get technical. So. Mia Baham asks what screen recorder I use and I currently use Nvidia Share. Um, it is great in my opinion and I would recommend it but uh, or it is free but uh, you need to have an Nvidia graphics card to actually use it so if you do have an Nvidia graphics card and you want to record I would recommend Nvidia Share. It's Taylor Stone asks what microphone I use and what software I use to edit. Um, so 
The microphone is an Audio-Technica 2020 and I use HitFilm 4 to edit my videos. And um, I'm, g I'm getting a little bit out of breath, guys. <laughs> I shouldn't talk so fast. And Natasha Yui asks um, what computer I have. And I built and put together my computer myself. So if you guys want, I could put up a list of all the components I used. Um, so let me know if that's something you guys want. So that was all the tech questions, I believe. Um... So let's let's do the Sims related questions, guys. Uh, the pandas randomness asks, "How did you find out about the Sims?" So, okay, <laughs> I still remember this like it was yesterday. Uh, I have a cousin, and we grew up together. He's the same age as me, and we were basically like brother and sister. So one day, <laughs> when we were like nine years old. Uh, he told me he had gotten a new game and he asked if I wanted to try it and I of course said yes And I asked well, what is the game about? What kind of game is it? And he told me it was a life simulator in the I, I didn't understand what he meant like what the hell is that like I couldn't picture what a life simulator would be like because uh, there was no similar game at the time and I I just couldn't wrap my head around it, but he showed me the game and I tried it and I was hooked, guys. I was hooked for life. So basically, it's all my cousin's fault. I'm here today. <laughs> now, I'm really, really glad he showed me this game because uh, I've been playing it ever since. Uh, Luluphoria asks, how long did it take for you to get so great at building? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um. Like, as I said, I've been playing The Sims since it was released in 2000, so <laughs> I've been playing it for 17 years. Um, and the, even back then, my great passion was building, not really playing as much as building. I remember even drawing pictures of the layout before I started building. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was nine... That That is what nine-year-old me was doing. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, but... So the question or the answer, I mean, is 17 years, I suppose, <laughs> but I seriously don't think it takes that long to get good at building. I think it's individual. I think anyone can make great builds, just practice and have fun and patience. Um, then we have Atsurika or Ayatsurika, uh, such a beautiful name, honey. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so, so sorry, uh, but she asks which Sims game sims game is my all-time favorite and what do i want in the sims 4 that is not currently in the game in my favorite sims game of all time <laughs> that is such a hard question but such a good one too uh, but the first game that pops into my mind the game i feel i have the most fond memories of is the sims 1 making magic uh, even though it's so many years ago i still remember how much i enjoyed and loved that expansion pack i'm a huge supernatural fan i've always been whether it be movies games books etc so i i just love that expansion pack <laughs> it was so hard to get enough coins or like magic coins to uh be able to move into that magic neighborhood. <laughs> I remember having trouble with that because uh, you needed coins instead of simoleons. But anyway, as far as of what I want in The Sims 4 that we currently don't have, well, there's many things I would love to have in The Sims 4 uh, that I think we are going to see very soon. But my top request would be seasons, guys. I think that's a very basic feature that is needed for realistic gameplay and it would certainly enrich my type of gameplay and i just i just enjoy having my sims pick pumpkins during fall <laughs> so seasons and life as a geek teen dolly love your name girl asks what my favorite cc items are and i'll actually do a video on that soon so um i'll show you all my top favorite cc items uh, cast items in a video very soon um yeah gaming master tm wants to know if i'll be doing any lp soon it's yes yes i will be doing lps they are coming i'm currently working on a mini challenge that will come to my channel very very soon uh, but i'm gonna do more lps than that but uh, i'm not gonna talk about that 
at the moment. I, I will talk about it in an upcoming video and possibly make a poll on Twitter. So make sure you follow my Twitter links in the info box. So Ella J and Elizabeth Winter wants to know my favorite builds I've ever done and my favorite apartment I've ever done. And uh, whoa, whoa, okay, these questions are so freaking hard. A uh, great questions, but so hard to answer. Uh, my favorite apartment is a little bit easier to answer. I think my favorite apartment I've ever done is the college dorm, the girls one, because it was so creative. I had so much fun building it and uh, I did so many creative things with it. Like <laughs> it was a little bit different. So I think that's my favorite apartment or the Sen apartment. That one was fun too. Uh, but as for my favorite builds ever, like, I wow, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think for community lots, it's between the pumpkin patch restaurant I did last fall, uh, the hookah lounge or the city center park. Uh, all those builds I made quite a while ago, <laughs> but I love them. I had so much fun building those and uh, they are very creative. So, but as for residential homes, uh, I think it's between the vampire mansion or the beach house that I made like a year ago. So, um, yeah, I, I I can't really pick between these guys. I hope this answer satisfies you uh, because I, I don't have one favorite. I have a lot of favorites and they are my favorites because they are creative and was so fun to actually build. But yeah, guys, you know what? That's going to be it for this Q&A. Thank you so much for all of the awesome questions you left me. I'm so sorry I couldn't answer all of them. I will be doing uh, more Q&As in the future, though. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video and that you got to know me a little bit better. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, guys. I post a lot of channel updates over there and also like live stuff. So if you want to get to know me even more, Twitter is the way to go. Uh, there's a link to my Twitter in the info box, but my name is Cyberdoll YC. My name is Cyberdoll YC on all social media. <laughs> so Twitter, Tumblr, all that. Um, and guys, seriously, thanks again for 10,000 subs. Like I am still, I can still not understand. Like it's crazy. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine to hit that 10k mark, guys. But I am so thankful. Your support seriously means the world to me. I'm not joking. Uh, you not only brighten my day, guys, you brighten my life. And yeah, from the bottom of my heart, I i am so thankful. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. And um, I'll see you in my next video.